Okay, so here I have two really interesting cases where, um, you know, I'm multiplying these two, um, and uh, integration by parts doesn't, at first glance, seem to be the good, a good choice because we, for example, in this case, I would maybe let u be x to the third, but then I don't know what the antiderivative of this guy is by itself. Um, and kind of similar here, you know, it's not it's not clear. These, um, if this was sine of x and cosine of x, then that would that would work okay. But but it's not. So um, let's try something else. Um, let's say you let I'm going to do substitution first. I'm going to let w be negative x squared. And so then. Uh, dw is negative 2x dx. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to do like I'm doing integration by substitution right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the x's from the x to the third and then I'm going to put in a negative 2 and the, a negative 1 half on the outside. So this is equal to negative 1 half and then negative 2 Actually, I'm going to put it over here. So negative 2x dx. And then I have e to the negative x squared. And then over here, I have x squared. OK, so notice how I, I broke this up. Um, I took out, I multiplied by the whole thing by negative 2. And then I took out a negative 1 half to balance it out. From this x cubed, I, I took one of those and just placed it over here, and then I would have x squared there. OK, now um, notice what I've got is this right here is dw. And then this guy right here, that's w. And then I it looks like I almost have another w right here. I just need to put in a, a negative sign. So I'm going to put the negative sign right there, and then I'm going to change that sign out, out there. So that turns this guy into another w. So when I do that, what I get is this is equal to 1 half the integral of w e to the w dw. And now this looks like a better, um, better spot to use integration by parts. Because here I can let u equal to w. I can let dv equal to e to the w dw. So then du is going to equal to dw. v is going to equal to e to the w. And so applying integration by parts, I would get uh, 1 half times um, uv. So w e to the w minus uh, the integral of v du. So e to the w dw. And I need to bring the 1 half on to that one as well. So then um, this is equal to 1 half. And then w e to the w, let me go back to what w is. So 1 half negative x squared e to the negative x squared minus 1 half e to the negative x squared plus c. So this is a case where we used integration by substitution first and then uh, integration by parts second. So pretty tricky little guy. Okay, now let's try this next one. It's it's kind of similar, except that this requires a using um, a trig identity first. Um, this is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. And so if I rewrite this guy, this is equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 2 sine x 
cosine x e to the cosine x. Now the reason why I did that is because if I'm going to do any kind of substitution, I need the, the trig functions, these the cosine and the sines, to have the same argument. And you know this having the two in there messes everything up. So um, and so then let's let's do notice that you can do a little substitution here. So I'm going to let w equal to cosine x and then uh, dw is going to equal to negative sine of x dx. And so then um, I'm going to need a negative there so I'll put a negative outside and then dx negative sine of x those two put together are dw and then um, cosine here is also a w. So then what I have is negative 2 times the integral and then I'm gonna not put the limits of integration here I'm just gonna put them back all the way in the end just go back to what x is equal to and then plug them in so I have negative 2 times the integral of w e to the w dw and notice this guy is exactly the one I had back here so I'm just gonna kinda use that same exact one this is going to equal to negative 2. If you do exactly what you did here, you would get w e to the w uh, minus, or in this case, plus, because it's already negative, um, e to the w again. OK. And there's no plus c here because this is a definite integral. So this is equal to negative 2. w is cosine of x e to the cosine of x plus e to the cosine of x. And this is going to be evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. OK, so this is negative to um, cosine of pi over 2 is 0 and e to the 0 plus e to the 0 again minus so that's the top um, negative 2 cosine of 0 is 1 e to the 1 plus e so then here what I've got is this guy is 0. Um, e to the 0 is equal to 